When we first saw the plot, it was excavated. This is a very steep hill, it's one in three. So there were very deep excavations and cut and fill, I think they call it, where uh, the ground had been leveled by pushing out the, the soil further back. And that was it really, there were, it's shale, it's just loose kind of rock. And uh, there, were, uh, there was a deep excavation for two houses and one for a double garage. The shillet is very solid, which is great for building actually, because it gives you a good foundation. It's uh, slightly porous, so it's great for drainage as well. We've got our own water supply here, a uh, sewage treatment plant as well, and that's fed into a little soak away drainage system. So all of those kinds of things are no problem. So it's good ground for that. Uh, and again, because it's on a very steep hill and we're quite high up, there's no chance of flooding. So actually it's a gift for anyone who wants to <laughs> self-build. Well, the water that we get then comes from a spring. We're on a very steep hill, so all of the water for the half mile, probably even a mile up the hill, that falls in the fields, permeates through the rock, comes out of a little spring. We have it in a 2,000 litre underground containment tank. We filter it. We've got a UV lamp and uh, that's our drinking water. It's like bottled water, spring water, because that's what it is and that feeds the, uh, we have a bath, the shower, whatever water we need for watering the garden. So we're sort of at 98% full or something all the time. Mm -hmm. In the winter, when we've got our wood-fired range running, mm -hmm. that has a boiler, and this range is doing the cooking, water heating, and space heating. So the uh, boiler is gravity-fed. It's completely automatic. It doesn't need any electricity. The hot water travels up a pipe because it's hot. The cold water comes down the other side so you get this thermal flow. It looks after itself, it heats the hot water tank, the water is scalding at any time. In the summer, when that range isn't running, we have a system by which our so off-grid solar system, when the batteries come up to 100%, it automatically detects that and throws a switch that turns the immersion heater on so that all of the surplus energy that we're producing from the sun power is now heating our water. And also, if, if we don't have enough um, you know, sun for that system, we can just switch the immersion heater on as anybody else would in, 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 an, yeah. in an ordinary way. We have gas, yes, again, because in the, in the winter when the ranges are light, that's our cooker, it's got a big hob and three ovens, lovely, we can do anything on that. But in the summer, that's not lit. So we have a uh, propane gas um, serving a, a, a five gas hob thingy. Phone and broadband, we're not off grid for that. We have that, no. <laughs> we have that from BT <laughs> and, uh, and, a, and an internet service provider. Mm. That's our only connection. Mm.